Hi everyone, it's John from the Landlord Protection Agency and I hope your Saturday is going really well for you today. I wanted to tell you about another lease clause that I'm very thankful for. You know, I've been doing this series of lease clauses that I'm thankful for and um, another clause that I've used many times in the past and really makes me thankful that I have it in the lease is the grounds clause, grounds maintenance. By the way, I'm John from the Landlord Protection Agency. If you don't already know me, I've been doing uh, landlord protection for a long time now. The Landlord Protection Agency website has been around since the year 1999, and I've been in the business as a real estate broker, investor, and landlord since 1979. So I hope I'm able to bring some value to you guys, and I'd like to share with you the clause grounds maintenance. Grounds Maintenance Clause is a very important one that I've benefited by over and over and over again. And one of the things you must understand with my LPA lease, I've been very fortunate to be able to create a lease using all different experiences that we've had as a management company and myself personally that accumulated into a really good solid lease agreement and our LPA lease agreement has been praised by other landlords attorneys and judges in court as a very solid good landlord lease now if you're a landlord I recommend that you use a good landlord lease because it's designed to protect you you need to be protected as a landlord because if you don't if you do it the way most people did when I got into the business, you're looking for trouble. You'll have all the odds against you because everything is set up against the landlord unless you take certain steps to protect yourself. And that's why we created the Landlord Protection Agency so that you can be protected. And part of that means having a great lease that will protect you for all, from all different types of occurrences that happen with tenants and there are certain things that happen with tenants all the time so if you're a landlord you know what I'm talking about and you see this a lot especially if you've been in the business for a while there are certain things you know that you're prone to and that you need to protect yourself from it and of course it all stems from good tenant screening as you know I always preach good tenant screening 95% of tenant problems are eliminated in the screening process. But now we're talking about how to protect yourself with the lease agreement. So this is very important stuff. So the grounds maintenance clause in our LPA lease agreement is a very important one and I love it. I'm sorry to keep saying it's so important, but it is, it's very important. So when I rent out a house, now, grounds wouldn't apply to an apartment rental, so this clause really pertains to a house where tenants are responsible. And of course, we only want to rent to tenants that will be responsible for the house to care for it as if it's their own, so that we can feel good. And I tell this to the tenants, we want to feel good renting to you and know that our property is in good hands. Is our property in good hands with you? You have to ask them that and make them feel proud of taking care of your rental property. And that comes down to the grounds. Now, I've always had the tenants responsible for their own grounds. And for the most part, it worked out very well. But sometimes we want an even better job done and we include a groundskeeper or a landscaper expense in the lease agreement. So it's built into the rent. but the tenants are still responsible to take care of keeping everything neat and clean. Now as far as the grounds maintenance clause, the tenants maintain the grounds. Now in your situation, do you maintain the grounds or does your tenant maintain the grounds? And how is that going? Is your tenant doing a good job? And does your lease require the tenant to do a good job? To 
mow the lawn, to do seeding and fertilizing and weeding. Do, do, do you do that? Do, does your tenant do that? That's important to have in the lease. And it's also important to make sure, and here's the key, to enforce that clause. You need to enforce the agreements in your lease. So the grounds and maintenance clause is so important to enforce. Now, um, it means taking over the responsibilities for taking care of the property, and your tenant needs to be able to accept those responsibilities. Now, if your tenant does not want to accept those responsibilities to do it themselves, because a lot of tenants have told me, oh, I love taking care of the ground. It's therapeutic to mow the lawn and to do weeding and plant flowers and make the property pretty. A lot of them say that, and then they don't follow through, or maybe they'll do it for a short period of time. So it's very important that you're able to enforce the lease clause right away when they start falling down. So we have a grounds violation notice, and we'll, we'll share that on the LPA newsletter. The grounds violation notice enforces the clause of the LPA lease, your grounds maintenance clause. And the violation notice will tell the tenant that if they don't cure the default because your grass may be three feet high and the tenant has attended to it like it's their responsibility or whatever it might be it might be tree trimming it might be um, watering the grass that they're responsible to do whatever it is in that clause that they're violating and you notify them that they're in violation that they're not following through with their agreement then your lease gives you the right to go ahead and get it done professionally at the tenant's expense and that you will bill the tenant for the cost of the service as added rent. Now that added rent gets tacked on to the amount of rent that they owe and they legally owe you and they legally agreed that you can charge them. And if you're not happy with the job the tenant is doing on mowing the lawn or whatever it is, then you have the right to give it over to a contractor, a private landscaping company, to take over. Some landlords I know even do it themselves, but you know, most of us, if we've got a lot of properties, you can't be mowing all your lawns. So you would have a contractor or a service company that's going to maintain the grounds for you and bill it to the tenant. That's why sometimes I'm just happier from the start to build it into the rent. But if your tenant's not doing a good job, get it done by a professional, and then bill the tenant as added rent. It's their expense that they agreed to pay. So go for it. Enforce the lease. And don't just enforce this clause. Enforce every clause in your lease if the tenant's not obeying their own agreement. It's their word. It's their signature. And sometimes we have to hold them to it. Okay, that's the grounds maintenance clause. This is John from the Landlord Protection Agency, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the weekend, and thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon with the next clause, which will be renter's insurance. Talk to you soon. Thanks.